Uh, hi, I'm Paolo Sulit from the Ateneo de Manuel Senior High School. And all of you guys mentioned this idea of involving everyone in this conversation about DRR. But then again, DRR is such a very heavy topic with some serious technicalities. And it could be very uh, unappealing and very scary for most people who aren't are aware. And uh, how can we involve more people in this conversation due to it being such a serious topic? How can we get them more involved and what incentives can we give? Because despite, despite there being a need for DRR, not everyone wants to learn about DRR due to it being such a serious topic with a lot of technicalities. So how can we make it more appealing for everyone to join in the conversation? Thank you. So the question was, how do we communicate it? Um, how do you, we communicate the sense of urgency and at the same time, the need to be involved in this um, situation or in this uh, concern? Yes? So I've always had a dream of having these major issues incorporated into pop culture because we're always talking about how Al Dub is doing this and that. What if these topics get incorporated into our telenovelas? What if real issues that we deal with are incorporated into the things that people are already watching and talking about anyway? There was a study in Brazil which showed that uh, um, a telenovela character, a woman who was being domestically abused, stepped up and then got out of that relationship. There is data that studied how people then felt empowered and were able to then save themselves from those situations. So the power of pop culture and media is very, very strong, especially here in the Philippines. So maybe we can kind of open these topics of conversation up onto the platforms that we're familiar with your daytime television, your social media platforms, making maybe some of our pop culture influencers more influential for the things that actually matter. And then, of course, there's jobs in the private sector that can create more um, engagements and the tourism can be more educational and environmentally friendly. But to me, like looking at a high school kind of scope, I would think, you know, if the, the media you're already consuming starts to address these issues, you're going to start to perk up and pay attention because role models on TV can also be role models in real life. Yes, thank you for that. Yeah. I don't want to put you on the spotlight. <laughs> but Mr. Dantes, can you add more to, to the input spot of our speaker from Bambay? I totally agree with him and I, I also agree with you. Na it is really a challenge no, kung paano maiparating yung mensahe ng DRR sa lahat ng tao. Uh, and Siguro, ito isang katotohanan na malalaman mo lang yung importansya ng isang bagay kapag, kapag mangyari na sa sayo. Otherwise, hindi mo fully realize yung importance niya, yung kahalagahan niya, yung kabigatan niya kung sa iba mo palang nakikita. Pero aantayin pa ba natin mangyari yun? Nakita naman natin yung experiences ng ating mga kababayan. We saw its effects on other people. So, I think it is also our duty and responsibility um, as citizens to help the government to participate, and not just participate, but meaningfully participate. And like what, I, like what you said, we have all these platforms. Nandiyan ang television, nandiyan ang social media. So, nandiyan ang ating mga media companies. Uh, ginagamit nila ang lahat ng, ng makakaya nila para maiparating sa lahat ng tayo yung kahalagahan ng DRR at climate action. Pero siyempre, it needs our help. Kasi tayo magbibigay ng multiplier effect. Hindi ako, hindi la ikaw, kundi tayong lahat. But if everyone acts together, mas magiging maganda ang resulta.